Getting to know your Pacific Tigers, Zach Bayrudi, and a guy you might already know, <laughs> Jaleel Tripp, who is a senior, senior season for you, Jaleel. Hard to believe. Uh, this is going to be your third year in, the, in a Pacific uniform. Mm -hmm. uh, WCC honorable mention last season. How do you feel your game grew last year? Um, I feel like I scored the ball more efficiently. Um, I seen my field goal percentage rise, my three point percentage rise, and my free throw percentage rise. And I think it was um, coming from my sophomore year. I knew teams were going to game plan for me because they seen what I did that year. And mm -hmm. I think I was prepared. I had a um, pretty good summer. Last year, 10.6 points a game, 5.7 rebounds, three assists per game. Uh, you, you've had two seasons that by the numbers have been very well-rounded. Uh, take us inside your game and what makes you such a well-rounded player and able to do so many things out there? Um, just since I was little, I was great at playmaking and getting my team involved. And I was always a strong player and fast and had a great IQ and feel for the game since young. And I think when you can score and then I like to see other people score, I think that gets me hype and excited and it makes me want to do more and if I can get the rebound on all can make something happen whether that's for me or my teammates and I think that's what it is I think I've just been gifted to be able to do all the things that you want to play in basketball well dribble pass and shoot and I think I've been doing that all my life. It's going to be your first season in a while without your man uh, Roberto Gallinat and uh, you guys play together at Juco you come here together as a package and mm -hmm. this is the first year where he's not going to be here because he graduated last year is that has that been different kind of right off the bat this season um just a little uh just knowing that we've been together for about what four years almost mm -hmm. together and uh just know that he's not gonna be there in practices and at the games and stuff like that so but it's all right though because i'm still getting good with my new teammates and there's always experience when you got to just uh, get better with other guys and that's okay with me um as a learning process and that's just comes with the business. How's he doing, by the way? Um, he's doing pretty well. He just won their first regular season game. Where's he, he playing a, now? Denmark. Denmark. Just had 20 and 10. So nice. Shout out to Birdie. Nice. <laughs> shout out to Birdie. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like, and this might, you might have to do this, do you feel like you're ready to take on a leadership role this season? Uh, you're uh, outside of grad transfers, you're the, the one senior. So do you feel like that has to be your role this year? Um, most definitely. Um, knowing that I probably got the most experience in this program right now for the people that's on the team, despite some of the other players that's returning. Um, I probably got the, the bulk of the minutes out of the guys that was here already, and I've been in the system and know what uh, Coach Dottomai is expecting, and mm -hmm. I think uh, most of the guys are looking to me to lead us and just to help them out um, the transition coming in here and not knowing what to expect from the system and the conference and how games are going and just the overall experience of colleges because we got a lot of new guys and freshmen. You mentioned Coach Stoudemire. This is your third year playing for him. This is going to be his fourth year coaching. So, I mean, for as long as he's been a head coach, only one year he's been without you. So, yeah. of all the players, you've kind of had a chance to see him grow. How has he changed over three years as a coach? Um, I think he's very adapting to the players. Um, I know it's pretty hard to come from Arizona and come mm -hmm. down to the mid-major level, but I think he's adjusted pretty well. And um, he's still hard on everybody, just as if he was up there in a um, high major level. And... Um, like I said, I think I practiced this ran almost NBA-like because he played in the pros, and mm -hmm. I think that's some of the best things that you can get coming to this program. Is it's not going to be ran where it's baby and you uh, practices are tough, and that's what he wants. He wants you to practice to be tough so the game becomes easy, and I think him growing and just adapting to the players, um, I can really see that he's really trying to learn more about the players and not just for his system or what the players think, so I think that's another big thing for him to learn, and that's what he's been doing. How's he made you better? Um, definitely coming from junior college when I played the four, and then coming here, I was playing the three in the beginning of non-conference, and then I mm -hmm. got transitioned to play the point guard You're position. all over the place, man. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, once we got into conference, and um, him being a point guard and one of the best point guards to play the game really helped me a lot, and I think that's expanded my game more, so that way I'm not – always been well-rounded, but he's definitely making sure I get that good point guard experience, and learning from him is just like – one of the best things I could do because I don't know any other great point guard coaching at a college level right now besides him. So he's helped me a lot and given me a lot of good things to think about and how if I want to be a pro, how to carry myself on and off the court and just how it is out there. So You've had, you've had the chance to see the top teams in this league now, Gonzaga, St. Mary's, BYU, for a couple of seasons. When you watch those teams, what about them and what about playing against them makes them so good? Um, most of those teams are just very, very disciplined. Um, they buy in and they know what their system are, their system is, and mm -hmm. they run into a T. And um, 
most of the time you got to get those guys rattled because they are usually in this conference they're used to just playing comfortable because a lot of guys is just lay down and let them do what they want and I think you can't do that when you go play those guys because when you go play those guys you have to show them that you're fearless and that's the only way that I feel like anybody can beat those type of teams. This is a vastly different team than the one we've had the last two years. A bunch of new faces. What excites you the most about this team? First of all, I'm glad we got a full roster with all Amen. our scholarship. Because Amen. when I first got here, we had about <laughs> six scholarship players, and I was almost playing about 38 minutes a game. Yeah. And Out of last necessity. Year, <laughs> and then last year, we got a few back, and I was still almost playing 38 minutes a game. And I think now I'll be able to get more rest, and I like the team that we have. Uh, there's a lot of adversity that – um, diversity, I'm sorry, on a team that we can sit here and move the pieces around a lot, and I feel mm -hmm. like that's going to be hard for a team to guard. I feel like a lot of teams, when they sub out, the level of intensity and skill level goes down, but I think with us, sometimes it might rise, and you'll get a different feel for some of that when the games come around and people start to see, like, all right, when he comes out, who's coming in, and it's like, oh, wow. And I think it's good that we got length, finally. We got big men, and now I can throw it down to the post for real, officially, and do some other things. Job, before we let you go, any goals that you have this season? Your honorable mention uh, last season. Any any goals you have in mind, specific, not specific? Uh, I think I could get player of the year. Uh, That's a goal. I really felt like um, I should have been on the first team all conference last year. I just feel like the bad season we had in conference, I wasn't. And um, I want to win the West Coast Conference and make it to the NCAA tournament. I hope it happens for you, Josh. Jaleel Tripp, getting to know your Pacific Tigers.